We are moments away from hitting vacation mode. It's a good day for a good day, isn't it? Hopefully you're coming post watching my Nordstrom anniversary sale skips. I just went into a whole bunch of things that we are saying no to on this sale. This video we're talking about the picks, the things we're saying yes to from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Let's not wait one more minute. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, now I certainly have a lot of things saved in my wish list. I just want to preface it with this. Life needs to be about elevating your joy. It's about looking and feeling and doing good in your life and getting a deal or a discount does that. That's just one of many ways that we do it. So I always say this, love what you love. These are some of the things that I'm eyeing. Maybe they're for you, maybe they're not for you. Maybe something else is for you, but I just wanna say you do you, okay? I have included everything below. If you would like to shop from some of my links, I deeply appreciate it, but it's not why I'm sharing these things. I'm sharing them because of the joy. So On Cloud is a sneaker that I started wearing last Christmas, I think. I asked Brian for them. They looked like great training shoes. And boy, are they. They are amazing, amazing. When I do any of my weight training, I wear these. I have the best support and foundation to do my squats, my lunges, everything. They're incredible. So then I decided to find a walking shoe and I found an amazing walking shoe. And it is on my wish list because it's such a good shoe. So I highly recommend, you might have to do a little bit of research to see what's what, but I'll link below some of my favorites because um, it's worth sort of short cutting. It's just an awesome quality shoe. Um, I don't see it go on sale very often, so I like this. It's a good discount. Like I said, it's a really good discount. It's definitely a pick for me. Number two, now in my skips, I did talk about the Barefoot Dreams blanket, and I talked about the Barefoot Dreams cozy chic sweater, but, but there is one thing that I did see that I was curious about, and again, is this a deal? No, it's a discount, but it is this incredible Barefoot Dream set. Does this not look like a dream? I mean, I could wake up Christmas morning and visualize being very, very happy in this set. So I'm definitely going to see how it fits. I love every color, although that tan one is giving me life. So we're gonna try that one, see how sizing is. I like that they're selling this as a set. That makes me happy. I'm glad that it's not like, you know, $120 for the top and $150 for the bottoms, which most of the time on the barefootdreams.com site it is. So that's why I chose this as a pick because I really liked the look of this. And I know it's a little bit pricey, but again, like if you're in the, in the business for a really good fall, winter, holiday-ish set, this is a good one. My next pick is Super Goop. Love this product, love this line. I have multiple things from Super Goop. Uh, we use Super Goop and I swear by it. So Super Goop is a definite yes. You also don't see this go on sale very often, although Anthropology has a lot of sales on Super Goop uh, when they run their normal promos every week. If you're looking for something that uh, it's just high quality and really good to put on your face to protect yourself from the sun. Super Goop is a win. You might be very, very familiar with the Leather Moto jacket. I didn't talk about the blank NYC Leather Moto jacket in my skips because it's not a bad jacket. Like it's really great and it's vegan leather and the colors are divine. They're beautiful. Um, that also will be on the sale. There's a lot of blank NYC. Um, that's, a, that's a maybe. I see a lot of blank NYC at Nordstrom Rack. But I will say, I think one of the best leather motos of the sale comes from All Saints. You, you really can't go wrong with an All Saints leather moto jacket of any kind, of any color. They're beautiful. I mean, the leather is real. The fit is very designer-esque. Uh, some of them are a little shorter, but I'm gonna link some below of my favorites and things that I've seen from prior years. Still, again, a little bit on the pricey side, but if you're in the business for a new moto leather, this could be um, a great solution. 
one that I've talked about many years, this is getting into my next category, Blanc Noir. Now, I was hoping I would find a brand new Blanc Noir designed jacket coming into the sale. And unfortunately I didn't. I still see a few things that were on sale last year as well for a vegan leather lover. It's also very edgy, which I love. I love a good edgy piece. Anything Blanc Noir is worth trying if it resonates with you and you're excited about the edginess of a vegan leather piece like I am. Mother Denim has definitely risen from the grave over the last six months, I would say. I mean, everything struggled a bit, I think in 2020 from a supply chain standpoint, but Mother Denim has done an incredible job in the last several months pumping out new denim styles and pieces. Unfortunately, they're expensive as hell. It makes me wanna find all the dupes. Like randomly Forever 21 has a great dupe mother denim. You have to agree, the denim quality is beautiful. Not to say we can't find other brands. Like I think Zara comes in a close second with a really good dupe sort of style and appeal and quality for a lot less of a price. But I've seen so many women in mother denim look so good. So that's why I'm bringing this up. The mother denim pieces that I'm seeing on sale are really, it's it's a good sale. Like it's a good discount on Mother Denim. I wouldn't call it a deal like we could maybe find in the clearance rack of Anthropology on a random Tuesday. I've linked a couple pieces below that I really, really like and um, are worth trying, especially if you find one that you think inspires you. It'll make you feel good. Last year, Tory Burch came out with a beautiful leather slide. I loved this slide. I actually went in store, tried on this slide, but it just didn't work for me. I couldn't find the right sizing um, that felt right. It was like playing Goldilocks with these slides. So I passed. But this year, there's a new leather slide in black or like an ivory tan. And um, I'm so all over it. it. It looks so classy, so beautiful. These look like um, grown up slides. They look like a slide a, a woman definitely spent some change on, but also snagged before they sold out. And you're gonna get a lot of compliments on these slides, I promise you. So choose your own adventure here. Black, tan, pick your right size. I think they're probably true to size. I'm definitely gonna try the ivory ones and, and we'll see how they go. So I'm loving them. The second pair of slides that I'm looking at are these Pedro Garcia slides, another phenomenal brand. So Pedro and I go way back because when I was, um, this is summer right here. Working mom summer. When I made my first how to shop Nordstrom Rack, video on this channel, Pedro Garcia and I, you know, that was one of the shoes that um, had me discover like the ultimate hack to shopping at Nordstrom Rack. By the way, the video, I'm gonna put it up here. So check out that video. But what's so great about that is um, I found Pedro Garcia because all of the Pedro Garcia like $700 heels were sitting in a bigger size than I wear because they're European sizing. Because I was looking in size 11 to hunt for some of these designer European brands, I would come across Pedro. And you guys, I've worn Pedro Garcia for years. These are the most luxe shoes. They're comfortable. Um, I would highly recommend trying these slides. If you need a really good slide, the quality is gonna be there. I have 110% confidence you'll love them. Make sure you size up though. They run small. All right, my next up, Lafayette 148. I know this is another expensive brand that oftentimes you can find at Nordstrom Rack. That's where you're going to get the deal. But when you find something you really love, like last year I found an incredible blazer that was Lafayette. This year, I'm looking at this amazing vest. This is gonna be such a good thing for me because number one, it's gonna be warm in Southern California probably all the way through January. So I don't know that I need a heavier blazer, but I definitely will wear a vest. I'll wear a vest with jeans, I'll wear a vest with faux leather leggings, 
leggings. I'll wear a vest with everything. And look at this, it has a dicky built in. So any Lafayette 148 blazer with a dicky I've tried, I have fallen in love with. The fit just works for us women. It just works. It works so well. Um, and that is why, I mean, very rarely am I like, hey guys, buy a multi hundred dollar piece on my channel. But sometimes you need to splurge if you really, really love it and you can afford it. And you know, it's something that you need in your work wardrobe. So this is one beautiful example of a work wardrobe piece that I'm saying 100% yes to. I wanna get every single color in this. Honestly, it's so, so beautiful. I have been in research mode, especially on Etsy and other places to find a really good designer-esque watch band, Apple watch band, that I can also work out in because I work out almost every day. So I need to be able to sweat in it and look at this Michelle band. It's still so expensive. I don't know if I'm gonna hit go on this. It's over $200. I don't know that I can do this, but um, look at how good it is. Oh my gosh, let me know if you own this or if you're going to buy it because I wanna see it on you. I want a picture, like go to Instagram or find my email and send me a picture because I would really love to see and hear a review on this Apple watch band. I'd love to hear what you think. Those are some of the top picks that I have in my cart. Uh, I didn't talk very much about the men's stuff or the kids stuff. In, in terms of men's stuff, Brian right now is wearing Viore. And last time I checked, I'm just gonna do one more quick check here. As of today, I'm previewing the sale. Viore is not on the sale. Nordstrom has is selling Viore, but it's not on the sale. If it were on the sale though, I would get it. I would say for girls, for my two girls, um, we probably won't get anything for the girls either because we love to shop in the fall for back to school and we go to all the different places. Again, that's sort of a personal preference thing, but those are all the picks. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely comment below on what your picks are. I'm dying to hear. Um, I've linked everything below. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for shopping with me. So with that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Mwah.